Trent Meissheimer with the Utah Avalanche Center. I'm up here in American Fork. I'm looking at southerly facing aspects for that crust and facet combo. The beautiful news is, it's not deep. It's only gonna take me about a minute to dig down and do an extended column test to find this layer. So all you need to do to cut an extended column test is have a snow saw. You're gonna isolate one side and then just measure out 90 centimeters wide, cut the other side. And then the beauty right now is this weak layer is only a foot or two deep. So you can just measure 30 centimeters back with your snow saw, stick it in the behind. Just like that. Now all my sides are isolated and I'm ready for my taps. So we'll do 10 out of the wrist. Ten out of my elbow. Now ten out of my shoulder. All right, so as you can see, I got full propagation across this uh, little crust and facet interface that we're finding on southerly aspect. So this tells me that we can trigger avalanches on this layer. And right here's the crust, and just above it is some really fine grain faceted snow. So I just swung around the compass. Now I'm more on a northwest facing slope, same elevation. Here, I'm not hearing or seeing any recent avalanche activity. I'm not on a wind drifted slope. And as a final check, I just dug an extended column test. I'm not seeing the layer like we see on the southerly aspects and I got no propagation in this snow pit test. So, I'm actually feeling pretty good about this aspect and this elevation as far as riding and turning goes.